Hey y'all, this is Brett and today I'd like to talk about something that I'm not going to put much energy into this. <clears throat> I'm not going to put much energy into this because it's not very positive, that's for sure. But really, I'd just like to set, shed some light on what people are focusing on because people watch television and you see in the media and with television programming they're always trying to get the most ratings okay and you know to a degree I always try and do that with my my videos but I keep it within a uh, reasonable content a reasonable perspective because <laughs> I mean I don't want to be unethical about this I just want to present the facts and make it humorous and entertaining at the same time but I'm going to show you the things, and anyone can look this up on the internet, the things that are the leading causes of death. And believe me, it's not something like, uh, you know, you got attacked by a bear, or I have bears walking through my yard right out there all the time, and do I look fearful of a bear attacking me? You know, these are the things that are just like dramatic things that people are focusing on, you know. And how often does it happen that you're sitting in a restaurant and some guy walks in and pulls out a gun and starts shooting people? I mean, how many times has that happened to you? Well, not ever. It probably has never happened to you. But you've thought about it plenty of times. Why? Because you watch Dragnet and and uh, Hill Street Blues and all of those television programs and you spent hours and hours. The average American used to, I don't know if it's still the same, but it used to be like seven hours of television a day. And so that's what you were focusing on. And last night you went and you saw a movie with Arnold Schwarzenegger. And so <laughs> you're focusing on death and destruction. <laughs> It's not true. You know, when you watch the news at night, people will see, you'll see all kinds of, of, of stories about, uh, you know, places where there have been wars. Bosnia, Herzegovina, and Syria, and, and Egypt is having all of this tension right now. But, you know, how come they're not showing anything in regards to Sweden? or the peaceful places in Europe, or, you know, there's all kinds of, of places where there's just nothing but peace and prosperity. And so, why aren't they focusing on those places? Because that's not interesting. <laughs> and people, for some reason, need polarity. And so, that's what we're focusing on, and... You know, I am dedicated to getting away from that. And I am, sometimes I'm getting to where I am actually focusing on positive things a lot more than the negative. And there's a great website called the Good News Network, and you should check it out. But for right now, I'm going to show you... <laughs> Some of those negative things, these are the facts, okay? Heart disease killed 597,689 people. Cancer killed 574,743 people in the United States. Chronic lower respiratory diseases killed 138,000 people. Stroke killed 129,000. Accidents, probably including auto accidents, killed 120,000. Alzheimer's killed 83,000. Diabetes killed 69,000. Uh, nephritis, nephritatic syndrome, and nephrosis killed 50,476. Can somebody help me pronounce that? <laughs> Influenza killed 50,000. Intentional self-harm, suicide killed 38,000. So, you know, 
These are things that you have direct control over. And what you eat is a huge factor in all of these regards. These are the ten leading causes of death in the United States. And if you've got a job where you're breathing something toxic, oh by God, you might get emphysema. You might have some kind of a respiratory disease eventually. Um, my uncle Harold, Uncle Harold sprayed pesticides on the crops. You've heard this before, but I'm going to tell you it again. Uncle Harold sprayed pesticides on the crops and now he's dead from brain cancer. And so, you know, you have to use your head and you have to have intuition and spirituality and you've got to find the love to do something that you really like to do for a living. But it's got to be safe. And you don't want to be driving too much because that's hazardous. And you don't want to drive in heavy, toxic traffic with lots of fumes. Like if you live in L.A. and you drive a lot, you know, you're exposing yourself to a hell of a lot of carbon monoxide and chemicals and, and the whole deal. And you know that. So eventually, if something is causing you a problem that you know is hitting the nail on the head in regards to really hurting your health, then you need to make a change. And, you know, maybe you do live in a place where there is a high probability of getting shot with a gun, like South Chicago or East L.A., South Central L.A., then get the hell out of there. It's your life. You have to make the tough choices. Sometimes they're not that tough, but there are a lot of different circumstances that people have that can make things tough. But you've got to dig deep and make the change, whatever it is. Thanks for joining me. Be good.